Just when you thought he was gone, the style guru is back, baby. Yeah, I'm not gone. I was just busy for a week and a half playing League of Legends and getting up at noon, but here we are. Because last video, you know that we watched five guys get ushered into a room from varying backgrounds, and they all judged themselves on how good they thought their style was and how good the style of their peers was. And then after that, five women came out and judged those same five guys, putting them in order from best to worst. I feel like Sean just has, I mean, he has the second best outfit in the room. You know, but... What we saw in that episode was Sean, who was the most eccentrically dressed, absolutely get ushered into first place. Landslide victory walked into the end zone without a scratch because every other dude in there didn't have the balls to really say how they felt because everyone's afraid of the cancel mob, I think. It just seemed very disingenuous. Dude with a beard dressed sharp in a suit, boring, toxic masculinity. Sean in the My Little Pony get up, brilliant and brave according to the f internet, I guess. Now, that video will be linked down in, well, actually, it's, it's linked on my left ass cheek, so you can click that and then go find the link yourself, you pussy. <laughs> Anyways, once you're done watching that, come back to this one, because we're about to flip the tables, and now it's the gentleman's turn to come in and judge the females after the females are done judging themselves. And we're here for it, baby. I'm not saying that it's not cute because you're rocking it, girl, fire, <laughs> but I would be caught then. I mean, that's okay. You're entitled to your own boring opinion. <laughs> wow. If you're not eccentric, you're boring. So the five women come together. They got to line themselves up one through five. We're going to see who's got the egos, who has no self-confidence, who's got too much confidence. Here's the guys from last week. Everyone looks good. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we're all super cute. All right, I'm going to rate them before the video starts. Last time I waited till they were done and then I gave my rating, but I want to jump the gun here and I'm going to I'm going to come up with it myself. I have no clue how to rate this. Every one of these styles is a little bit over the top for me. Like two librarian teacher like with the plaid. You know this girl in the middle is just a handful of baggage if you start dating her. Like you don't date a girl that wears that shit without just living in a nightmare. Kind of on the all the way on the right, kind of subtle. Don't mind it. I do have a soft spot if I'm being honest for like emo chicks. So like I'm almost leaning towards the girl on the left. I don't know what it is. I, I just grew up kind of emo. A lot of my chemical romance, a lot of dashboard confessional in high school. You know, still kind of sitting with me, lingering with me a little bit. Pretty safe with the pantsuit. Well, I don't even know. Like, what are the pants doing here? Uh... And listen, before you get mad at me, just understand that Jubilee makes these videos for no other reason than for us to just be judging a book by its cover without even knowing anything about these people. So that's what we're going to do. I'm absolutely torn. I have no no idea how to rate this. I'm going to wing it. I'm going goth number one, camel pants with the white vest. I like the shoes number two, plaid number three, comic strip girl number four, just because I know I said not dating material, but probably great for a one night stand. And then and then the pants suit just isn't, the pants aren't doing it for me, number five. That's, that's my opinion. Uh, let's see what the girls think of themselves. Okay, I'll go first. I'm inspired by Y2K. Like, I love Barbie. I better not be wearing these heels for nothing because my feet are numb, so I better be number one. It's funny that you mentioned Barbie because as soon yeah. as I saw you, I was like, bomb Barbie. Barbie. Like, I know. That's Long everything hair. I've ever wanted. Okay, but I'm pretty sure this outfit is fire. Yeah, no, I really like your outfit. It just, like, it seems very, like, sustainable and, like, I've never seen that before. Uh, excuse me, I have a question. Uh, for anyone fashion goos out there, what uh, what the fuck does sustainable mean when you're talking about an outfit? Is my is this is my outfit sustainable? Is it green? Can I burn my outfit to create energy for a long period of time? I don't I don't get it. I will say on the closer zooms, I'm noticing that there's like the purple zebra pattern on that, which I'm kind of liking. So I might have to change my rating uh, from the five to maybe a four or a three even. It's, I'm starting to like that a little better. It was the pants that really caught me off guard. So this is a coffin purse, which is like super cute to me because nice. I got it in a costume shop. I like my outfit a lot and I'm confident, but I don't know. I'm not, I don't. Tell me that you shop at Spencer's Gifts without telling me you shop at Spencer's Gifts. This is a coffin purse. <laughs> Since I'm already at number one, I'm gonna just stay here. Oh, hey. I'm uh, my fit, honestly, I was like, I don't know what pants to wear, so I decided not to wear any. Nice. I, listen, you can't wear camo pants without making a camo joke about disappearing legs. Let's go. She's gaining points already in the personality spectrum, but with the blue Nikes with the blue shirt, like she's... The fit's nice. I'll, I'll give her that. I just, the pants, to me, I'm struggling with the pants. The back specifically I got because it's black owned. I want to support black artists, um, black businesses, and all of that above. Hell yeah. That's why I got this hoodie. Because I like to support kids, and this was made by five-year-olds in China. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't, I mean, that. come on, that was kind of a funny joke. I don't know. I'll say number one, number two, number three, and the plaid, 
Number four, Coffin. Number five, Ooh. Y2K. Hammering Y2K with the five piece. She's not happy, but I'm not even gonna. The purple zebra is growing on me a little bit, but two might be a bit of a stretch. You can't put, you can't put Coffin Girl at four. Come on, that's, that's, a, that's egregious. I mean, that's okay. You're, you're entitled to your own boring you opinion. Don't get oh. me wrong. It's really hard to just go. Came at her. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Not saying that it's you're not, not kidding. cute, because you're rocking it, girl. Fire, <laughs> but. I would be caught dead. Like I would just be walking around. Like, don't look at me. Like I don't know. It's just it's cute, but not my taste. It totally. Sense. You're gonna laugh when I say this. Mmm. I doubt it. But let's try. I feel like my outfit today is so boring. <laughs> no. Nope. Didn't I? It was. I was close. I'm so quirky. This. This is just. This is so boring. I. If I was. If it was me, I'd be in my Cinderella dress. But I didn't want to go to. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm giving her a hard time. She's bubbly, probably got a great personality. Actually, hold on, is that a People magazine on her shirt? I didn't even realize it was literally People magazine covers. That's... I put myself first without at risk of sounding arrogant. We've got Issa is two. Nice. Three is Celeste. Nice. Four is... Oh, Barbie Lex, girl, five, five again. Five Getting Okay, hand. so I would put myself in number one. Of course, I think of that course. this is just like the pinnacle of <laughs> style. <laughs> Definitely not to everyone, but for me, <laughs> tacky queen over here. Tacky queen, at least she's got that self-awareness, okay? We're gonna give her points for the self-awareness. I would put Lex number four. And I would put Anna number five. Damn, right back at the, she's like, you gonna put me five, bitch? Not with your plain ass, you're going five too. Although she does have red hair, which is becoming rarer and rarer these days. You gotta give style points to that beautiful, uh, had a fire there. I personally like you at two. How people see me, it's like you either love me or you hate me, and then 50 50, I'm just like right in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> I don't wanna be number three, but like it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with this. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Okay, Coffin Girl at number four is a national tragedy. She's gotta be at least number two. You don't put in that much work at Spencer's Gifts and not and get a number four out of five. That's just, that's a, just a complete miscalculation on the part of everyone there. But, you know, ultimately, there's a lot of interchangeable outfits up there. And like we said in the first video, style is eh, completely subjective, so none of this means shit, but it's still fun to judge strangers on the internet, isn't it? <laughs> Can you put on Bring in the boys, baby! You know what, after all the hoopla last video, I'm curious to see how Sean feels about rainbow sprinkles in the middle. All right, so we're gonna do this ranking. Yeah, we're gonna do this ranking. Is one gonna stay at one? I think, right? No. Yeah. No? 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 Really? No. What? I think one flies. Yeah, one, one's one fine. fine. Okay, wait, well, let's go down the line, see like one thing, or like a few things about each person down yeah, the line, yeah, and yeah. we'll keep doing it. All right, that. Jether. I kind of like, obviously, pay attention to like the little details, and I yeah. think that's kind of what I'm judging my, my rankings off of, and I really like zebra print. Like, I like everything that's put together, so I would I would keep her at number one. I gotta be honest with you, having seen the up close and some zoom shots in her outfit with the purse kind of hanging off the, the waist there, did she, she is, she's got the fire fit. She is, she's at least one or two. I'm a man that knows myself and I have, I am confident in my own self, but I will admit when I am wrong and I was wrong about her at the beginning of the video. I feel like shit for it, but goddamn, does she deserve to be up there. It's looking good. It's just the purple, I love purple. I love purple and I love zebras when they're getting killed and eaten by lions. Unrelated, but purple's nice. But I would put zebra as second. It could have been like elevated. Who's gonna be number one, Sean? Let's go. Is it gonna be comic book girl? People magazine cover Barbie doll? Uh, number two for me, honestly, cause like I like androgynous looks. Um, I could wear that. I could wear the entire fit. Yeah. It looks, it's so like clean. If you really like look at the details and thought that she put behind that outfit, it was so cohesive. You know, I'm actually not a big fan of the pants. Right. I like her. Like Thank you. I like, yeah. Thank yeah, you. Ones are cool. Like that fit is so, that fit is nice with the, with the white, uh, the vest in the blue to match the Nikes, but the pants, oh, do, like, did you just go hunting wild boar? Like, what are those doing? Like, Barbie's outfit, just because it definitely stands out, like, it definitely pops and she fits it. I don't like the dress personally. It, I mean, it stands out. I mean, like, I'm standing out today, yeah, yeah, too, course, you know? Yeah. I just ball. really don't, I don't like the print. It looks like a photo. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I would put her as at four. Okay, Sean. Throwing me a curveball here. I thought just I thought just loud was what wins, but given Barbie girl a four, he's got some aces up his sleeve. Apparently, I'm now curious. Now, so now I think that I think Sean's maybe gonna I think Sean's gonna put Celeste at number one. That's my guess. Four. I really like that for some reason. Even though I I wouldn't normally like it's like attractive, and then with the you know like coffin purse and the 
rings and everything. I think it's cool. That's what's the up. aesthetic of Goose's outfit is a lot better than Barbie's. I wish it was like another glove. <laughs> really? I think the, the glove kind of fits. Yeah, yeah. 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 I guess. I, I think guess. It fits. If I mean, you had two gloves, you'd be like, gloves are boring. I like that point from my man. Listen, one glove is intriguing, right? You're like, why isn't there two? But if it's two, you're like, oh, that's just kind of now you're now you're going a little hard. But the one makes you tilt your head without going without immediately being dismissive. Five. I saw her fit and I was kinda like I didn't I didn't think she was in it. I you thought, thought she, she was a part of like the team. Yeah. She gives me like like teacher kind of vibes. <laughs> yes. It just looked too much like Mary Poppins for me and I I just couldn't get into it. She's like, getting. She could have added more. Like a she's getting trench coat or something. Shit on. Oh, that, like, that would like, be flat. A fucking trench coat. <laughs> what? And that I'm. Uh, that's not. I wouldn't have envisioned that. But I don't know. Josh, can you put a trench coat PNG on her, please, and see how that looks? Okay, never mind. That's fire. They have to stay number one and two for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. gold and silver. I think it looks like white vests might be. One, yeah, yeah, one. Man, they, everyone's sleeping on Celeste, bro. Coffin Girl is, is getting, she's getting soft right now. I think it looks like white vests might be one, yeah, yeah, one. If Out of everybody, yeah. Like well, one. I said white vest four. That's what I said. My, like, listen to my dude with the suit. Like, he has an opinion. You got to weigh that in, right? He's like, he's probably feeling the way I am about the camo pants. Like, you can't put those pants at one, no matter what the rest of her outfit is doing. All the guys tended to love white vest, and I was like, I get it, but. It also seemed like it was missing a little something for me. I'm gonna put yeah. Zebra at two. I would put Zebra at two also. Mm -hmm. I would put Zebra at I mean, two. She yes. has to be two though. Okay, two okay. then. So, so can we switch? You two switch. <laughs> Routine. All right. Barbie. And Barbie. And Barbie, Barbie, Barbie and Black I think Black Dress just did a little bit more. Who she reminds me of is Harley Quinn. That's what I was That's trying to think of the whole time. There you so, go. Yeah, I think is these two should switch? Yeah, they can switch. Yeah. Got two switch. Are you guys oh, cool with that? getting demoted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think that's good. I'm all good with yeah. that. I like, I like this. Cool, yeah. cool. Order. I think this is a safe one. I think this is cool. Yeah. My man in the suit just laid down for that one. He's like, I put her at four, and they're like, yeah, we don't care. She's still number one. Didn't put up a fight. Don't blame him. You know what? Who cares? I feel like we know this is arbitrary and innocuous, and, you know, it's subjective, but it has to suck. Like, it kind of has to feel shitty to be at five amongst yourself, and then the guys come out, and you just stay at five, right? Like, I feel bad for her. She's going for the traditional look. It's not my taste, and I, I kind of understand it, but it's like, as long as you're confident in it, you don't care what other people think. That's all that matters. Barbie girl's probably devastated that she went down one. Celeste at three, I'd probably put it two. I, I would honestly switch Celeste in white vest and be happy with that. Give so like get she's got a coffin as a purse. Are you shitting me? You could keep makeup in there, a wallet, or a fucking corpse. It's a coffin for Christ's sake. The one glove, the the tights with the rip in it, like come on. I went through phases where I had short buzz hair. I dressed like a skater boy. Listen, we all have our phases, okay? I would have liked to place higher, but at the same time, I'm weirdly proud that I didn't because if I placed last by the girls and the guys, then that's kind of saying like I'm not everyone's cup of tea, but. There's a certain amount of people that I can really relate to and I can form a solid, solid peer group rather than trying to appeal to everyone all the time. I mean, that's one way to spin it. You know what I'm saying? That's why like, when I'm playing video games and I'm getting the shit beat out of me and I'm losing to 12 year olds, I like to think that, you know what? Even though I want to punch a hole in my drywall and I've lost 10 games straight, that means somebody else is having fun and somebody else is winning. So I can I can feel good for providing that for somebody else. <laughs> but inside, you're still dying a little bit. I wear whatever the heck I want to, and then everyone else has to deal with it. <laughs> Ooh! Celeste bringing nothing but heat. Difficult lineup for this video for me. So many of the outfits were so unique and different than what I'm used to. It was hard to grade them one through five, but I thought they did a pretty decent job. Classic kind of females like I think this but also we're all the best so ah, no one cares right uh, like this is your number five but we're also fire right it's constantly have to like reaffirm themselves it's like a compliment sandwich it's like oh my god we're so cute you're like ugly at number five but we're all so cute it's a coping tactic I understand it makes sense nobody actually ever really speaks their mind when they're on fucking camera for the most part but the most important lesson to be gained from this as always as it was last week is that really it doesn't fucking matter. Wear whatever the hell gets your rocks rolling down the hill. And do not give a fuck about what anyone thinks if it makes you feel nice. 
That is the only thing I can say about this video. I think the Coffin and Zebra outfit were the best and most stylish ones. Don't be mad if you don't agree. It's my opinion. Ding, ding, ding. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Could not agree more. Honestly, the moment I saw her in Jordans, I knew the guys would rank her first. Guys are obsessed with those damn shoes. <laughs> That's so funny because it's true and I'm also guilty of pretty much commenting on her shoes exclusively throughout that whole video. We got another vote in the comments for Coffin Girls number one. You see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not alone out here, guys. I'm not fighting in the dark right now. I got troops with me. This entire thing made me mad. I'd put the one with the coffin bag in first, zebra print second, Barbie third. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Coffin Girl got completely snuffed. I don't know what happened. It was the fucking Jordans. They blinded every single dude in there except for my man in the suit with the ankle shown who thought she was at fourth and he raised his voice, but they didn't listen to him. And here we are with White West at one and Coffin Girl at three in the world continues to turn somehow, even though with su such a great injustice going on in front of our own fucking eyes. Well, unfortunately, I feel like I've reached my style review quota for the month, but fortunately, I'm nowhere near my tequila quota for the night. So I appreciate you so much for watching. If you could subscribe, if you haven't, that would mean the world. And if you could do me one last favor before you go, head over to your grandfather's house, grab his dentures out of his bathroom and place him gently on the top side of your arm and then take a hammer and just tap on top of those until it leaves like an imprint and it gives you a little scar in the pattern of his fake teeth. Uh, and then once that heals, you pull your pants off and you hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.